Welcome to another short Ayurveda talk on sleep. Sleep is another thing that is really important for supporting Vata during Vata season. And we are in Vata season right now. Vata season is fall and winter. Remember, there's only three seasons in Ayurveda. You have Vata season, fall, winter, Kapha season, that's your spring, and Pitta season, that's summer. All ruled by the elements that dominate those three doshas, right? So another way to help Vata is to make sure you get sleep. All right. So sleep is needed to recover mentally, physically, emotionally. It helps you recover from your day. And um, if you're doing a lot, like if you have deprived sleep, I'm just making sure I check all my notes. What it does is it actually deprives you of the deep sleep. The first part of the night is a really important part of the sleep. That's when you typically get your deep sleep. And your body literally clears away toxins, including the in the brain. And so you could feel like you have more brain fog if you're not getting that. So that's why we always recommend going to bed by 10 p.m., especially if you're Vata. All right. So dreaming your REM state, deep sleep, very important for your mental and physical state. It will lead to mental, physical issues and disorders and diseases if you deprive yourself of sleep. Um, if you get too much sleep, that's a problem too. So you cough at individuals that have a lot of earth and water in your constitution, your tendencies are going to be too much sleep. You got to be careful. You need less sleep. Vata people need more sleep. Vata and Pitta. Okay, so here's the things you want to stay away from. These things seem like they help sleep, but they actually make sleep worse. Sleeping pills, caffeine, alcohol, artificial any kind of artificial types of attempts or food that all can contribute to unhealthy sleeping habits. Lack of routine, going to bed at different times, that will contribute to sleeping problems. Go to bed every night at the same time. Make sure you have no bright lights before you go to bed. Yes, that's stimulating. The brain, it's going through the eyes. It's those hormones that we talked about in our talk earlier. The, it's stimulating those hormones that wake us up. So you want to calm everything down. You want to follow what's naturally happening in the day. When the sun goes down and it's dark, you want to do the same thing. Dim your lights. Try not to have a lot of really um, active things going on at night. I wouldn't recommend watching TV or anything like that at night as well. I know that is a habit, uh, uh, but if you're having sleep issues, you might want to stop doing that. Um, and other things that do contribute to sleep problems are not eating the right kinds of food. So bad food, uh, overeating. So if you eat too much, you're literally bogging down your digestive system and your liver eating too late. So I will always tell you, try to eat no later than 6 p.m., especially if you're going to bed at 10. You want to have your food fully digested before you go to bed. Okay, so overworking, that's going to cause sleep issues because you're going to overthink things. Worry, anger, lethargy, fear, those all create problems for sleep. And the other thing, too, is you can remember we talked about Abhyanga in our earlier talk. That is a way to start helping you get back your body back into feeling more rested and moving out toxins. So if you've got all these bad habits going on or you've, you've had lack of sleep because of stuff that's going on in your life, you can really support yourself with that daily Abhyanga. That's the oiling of your body because it'll calm your nervous system. All right. And then you want to basically make sure that you are aligned with circadian biology. That means when the sun is up, you're up. When the sun is down, you're down. You go to bed. Very important. Very important. Our hormones are very much connected to the sun. So when the sun is up, 
It's stimulating the hormones that wake us up. Follow what's going on with nature. You will be so much happier. Okay, so those are some tips to help us. Another thing to help us during Vata season, as Vata can easily get pushed out of balance during Vata season for all of us, even if you're not a Vata. All right, if you have questions, reach out to me and let me know. I'm always here to support you in your health and wellness journey.